what is good od fam welcome back to the channel we have made it to the end game and got the knights and if you're like me the grind is on to get the best legendary loot the game has to offer so in today's video i'm showcasing all the info i have on how to get legendary loot so you guys can build the best versions of your characters so don't forget to like and subscribe for all things got the knights and let's get it so after you beat the main campaign you can start new game plus from the main menu which will allow you to restart the entire game with all the gear and abilities you have unlocked thus far while also raising the level cap from 30 to 40 which becomes the new max level and besides replaying the game or doing some side quests or side missions the main thing you want to be doing here is looking out for legendary gear to perfect your build so the first way is random drops as far as i've seen you can acquire legendaries from defeating any random mob or npc in the game now this is pretty rare but if you're the kind of person that just likes to roam gotham city and take out random mobs you will get lucky eventually with some gear next you can definitely get legendary drops from enemies on the most wanted list if you're this far in the game at some point this list was added to your challenges menu and if you happen to come across any of these enemies in the open world you will have a higher chance for a legendary drop lastly and pretty much tied to the second method and also in my opinion the most efficient way to farm legendary gear is by completing the very high difficulty crimes in gotham city now the reason it's tied to the second method is because this is where you will usually find the enemies from the most wanted list and as i said earlier they will give you a higher chance to get legendary drops now sometimes it will show a legendary as being the reward for the completion of the crime but even if it doesn't or it just shows an epic gear piece i would still recommend to complete it because as i said the most wanted criminals usually hang out here and they still give a chance for a legendary despite what the rewards might say now there is a method to farm these very high difficulty missions as they do spawn randomly when you leave the belfry and open your map you will notice a red magnifying glass next to a number in the top right corner and what this represents is a number of clues you have available for stopping random crimes throughout gotham so each time you enter gotham you'll want to fill this as much as possible it goes to a maximum of 12 and you do this by either following the small white triangles throughout the map which denote a random crime or by using down on the d-pad to pull up the ar view which will also show you the closest one you can either eliminate all enemies at each given crime or you can once again use the ar view to find out which one is the informant and then grab and interrogate to extract your clue once you get all 12 clues or you're happy with the number of clues you have so far you want to head back to the belfry and then you'll notice that on your next night or the next time you go into gotham those clues will be converted into premeditated crimes which may or may not have the very high difficulty and then for the final part of this process pretty much all the gear you pick up you will have to craft and the one material that you will need is called inf metal now there are a few ways to get this but the most important and efficient way is by doing challenges from the penguin and every time you complete one of his challenges you will get a reminder to go see him and that's where you receive the nth medal and that's pretty much the grind because his challenges are tied to doing very hard difficulty missions so you will have to rinse and repeat the entire process to get the missions which will ultimately get you more nth medal so hopefully this helps you guys out. I know I've been grinding it for a couple of days to get my characters as strong as possible before Heroic Assault, which don't forget releases on November 29th. So I'll leave a link in the description for my video covering that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to support the channel. And I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm out.